Hey, Nova Piper. Just got home. Just got home. And hmm, 26 degrees or something. Or something. On the deck in the shade. Moosehead. Moosehead. Maritimers know. The hell? It's like flying ants out here everywhere. The black flying ants are all half dead. Must be that humidity thing. This is my uh, Rick Black Rhodesian Morda. Beautiful. Beautiful salmon. Great smoking pipe. Skull ring, skulls, doo 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 doo, swirly swirl. And today's tobacco is Mississippi River. Virginia. Um, <coughs> I'm kind of new to smoking Virginias. I've been, I tried them and I tried them. I could just never enjoy them. And I think I said this in my last video. Part of the pipe evolution was aromatics, English, Virginia. Now I still love my English, but I'm starting to appreciate more Virginia. And I always, even in my hardcore, you know, like last year or whatever year before, when it was like screw the screw the uh, uh, Virginia altogether, I still smoke Mississippi River. Now I'm, I can really appreciate it. So it's probably now I know a lot of people don't consider it a Virginia, but it's definitely Virginia forward. It's got everything in it, Virginia and Turkish Oriental, and, you know, Latakia, Latakia. I asked Syrian women, they said, it's perfectly acceptable to say Latakia, but they pronounce it Latakia. So, this, I don't know, this is a, even though this tobacco got a, is a Virginia forward tobacco, I think it was Mr. Ben who told me that it was Red Virginia's. And I've tried lots of other, not lots, but I've tried other Red Virginias and some, some, I don't know, just because it's Red Virginia doesn't mean I'm going to like it. So if this has Red Virginia in it, it doesn't mean I'm going to like it. I'm trying to get my freaking sneakers off here. Oh, freaking socks off. Ugh. So I just like smoke it real slow. But where I like heavy, heavy English blends, I can't detect any Latakia in here at all. I probably had this in the can close to a year. Most of the tobacco I'm smoking now is all pretty much about a year.
but yeah, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't call this a Virginia. It's not straight Virginia, of course not, but when I looked it up, it's got like, like I say, it's got all kinds of different tobaccos in it. I'm not sure how much of each, but it's a good, I like it. It's a good mix. It's a little damp. You know, it's perfect. I smoked my tobaccos now so that when I when I press them it will stay clumped together but it will easily break apart. It will easily fall apart instead of dry. And I can't, I can't describe, I'm not versed in Virginia enough to describe the flavor, so if, I, if I'm trying to describe what this tasted like, I'd have no idea. Let me see. I don't know. I think it's even got a bit of Perique in it, maybe. I'm gonna look it up. Fuck it. <laughs> let's see what other. Let's see what other people say about it. Mississippi River. Tobacco. Hmm. Latakia, Turkish Oriental, Perique, Virginia. Yeah, okay. It does have that little bit of zippity doo dah, which I have no tolerance for. So, Virginia Oriental, I guess. So, it's, it must be. I, I'm not very good at picking out uh, Oriental tobacco, Turkish Oriental. Tangy. So I look at some of the reviews and it says tangy, dark fruit, sweet, little earth. Hmm. There's a bit of a tang. I don't know what dark fruit means. It's sweet for sure. Sweet doesn't really isn't really a taste though. All tobacco has a bit of an earth to it. Uh, nah. mm. This guy calls it an English blend. <laughs> See, I can't pick out any Latakia in this at all. And a lot, there's a lot of people, there must be Virginia smokers saying how the Latakia scares them, but Latakia can be used as, a, as, you know, the main ingredient in an English tobacco, but it can also be used as like a, a condiment. Hmm. Everybody here says English. And to me, it's, it's Virginia. Yeah. More sweet than sour. This guy says he prefers plum pudding. It's night and day, though. It's black and white, man. It's two different types of tobacco. This guy gives it a shitty review because he's trying to compare it to plum pudding. Like, my God. You take everything with a grain of salt, you know. Hmm. 
Mm. Anyway. Seen the reflection of the patio door, it looked like it was open right there. Oh, that's weird. Anyway, I like it. That's what matters, right? Doesn't matter what other people say. If you like it, you like it. How it tastes to you is how it tastes to you. You know, even uh, all the Seattle Pipe Club tobaccos that I've tried, I, I I really like. They're pretty good tobaccos. They all have a similar something that's similar about them. Nothing, you know, and even like the cuts are different. I think it was Pot Latch I smoked yesterday, which has got a bit of Latakia in it. It's more of an English blend, but it's not that leathery like the Plum Pudding. I forget what they're all called. Deception Pass? I don't know. Maybe it's Deception Passes. Anyway, Deception Pass and Potlatch. One is a one is a vapor, the other one is like a mild English. I would call a mild English, but depending on your tolerance for Latakia tobacco, I guess. This isn't really a review, this is just talking about tobacco which I don't do, so I thought I'd do it. And now I'm done. So, thanks for watching. See ya.